Um, I'll show you what I've been doing here the last few days. If, if you want to come up with a pattern, I just get poster board and work on it till I get a pattern that suits me. You can kind of build off of one you might have or whatever. So here's my patterns I used for making these guitar straps. And this is a uh, guitar strap that's uh, eight to nine ounce leather. And while I'm thinking about it, I'll share with you uh, the uh, Tandy Leather Factory has a side of uh, leather they call oak leaf uh, tooling sides in eight to nine ounce. And that would be a, a good thing to make your guitar straps out of. Also, they have European single bins in uh, eight to nine ounce that would be good for making guitar straps. So uh, that'd be a good resource for uh, your uh, leather. It cuts easy with the knife and it also tools real nicely. And this is the set stamp guitar strap I made. It's three inches wide and it uh, will adjust from 45 inches to 52. And you can um, uh, make it longer or shorter or whatever, but that's a pretty average size. Here's a fancy guitar strap that I'm working on. This is just a wild design I came up with. And the way I did that is I cut a piece of paper and I just started drawing this wild design I wanted. If you can draw it on a piece of paper and you can uh, case your leather and you can just cut that in and tool it the way you want, whatever your imagination allows. And then you can see that I came in with the uh, EcoFlow die that uh, Tandy Leather Factory makes. And I've got the white, the red, and the black. The black flowed real easy. The white's a little more difficult. And the red was a little bit hard. But um, what I'm going to do is tone this down a little bit. I'm going to give this a light coat of olive oil, really light. And then I'm going to let that set about a day and then put a sealer on here, a clear sealer. And then I'm going to antique this black with the uh, uh, Tandy uh, uh, gel antique, and that will really tone this down, but I think it'll be pretty cool. And um, I'll also antique this piece here. And um, I'd like to show you the different tools I'll, well, what it takes to make a guitar strap like this. I talked about the leather and drawing the patterns. Now I'll show you the simple tools that uh, you can get started making your own guitar straps um, fairly easy, actually. It, and it just takes a little practice on your designs and so forth. OK, there's my guitar straps on the bench top there. Still got work to do on them, but that's just kind of an update of what I've got going on here. And there's my pencil drawing. Like I said, whatever you can dream up and sketch on a piece of paper, you can transfer that to your wet leather and then cut that design in and then treat it however you would like. You can dye the different parts, antique it, and just really make it look pretty custom. As far as uh, cutting the uh, guitar strap out, I use uh, those little leather craftsman knives or midget handles or I've heard them called a lot of different things, but they have a, a blade that is replaceable, and um, the new ones are mighty sharp. And that edger up there, that's a number one uh, Western edger made by C.S. Osborne. And that is what you use to round the edges of your uh, leather. And the little leather craft knife's what you use to cut the strap out. And your cutting table it needs to uh, be like a rubber mat or a poundo board or something like that. And another tool that comes in handy is a round knife or what you would call a head knife. It, um, they're a little more difficult to sharpen and uh, you don't necessarily have to have one but they're a nice tool to have in your collection. I have a rawhide maul from the leather factory. I've got a C.S. Osborne inch and eighth 
uh, slot punch there. I've got a Weaver uh, number six round punch there for punching the hole and a uh, chisel for cutting the slot in the guitar strap. Oh, if you like this little short tutorial I did on <laughs> guitar strap making, you can subscribe to my channel. And then if you would like to see more like this, let me know, leave your comments below, and I'll try to get something done for you. And thank you for watching this.